morning everyone good morning my adventurers um this video is, is about what happened my peppers so far this year i'm gonna show you from i started them well you saw when i started them and they were growing so as i showed you earlier this year this is the plants just about now i'm ready to put them in cups and i did put them in cups and and this is the result that you're gonna see next so as you know i use the double cup method and this is them here i have one cup at the bottom and the one with the plant so um this is how i do it is the double cup method where i use the hydroponic liquid once the roots start growing out you know once they establish you need to get them out of the cup so at this point i'm going to transfer them to my buckets and my containers because as you know i grow in containers i grow everything in containers so I generally use some soil from the year before that I have, you know, I might buy a new one, but I generally use it, but you know, that's in the pot, but I fortify it with other stuff. This is perlite that helps to lighten the soil. And also I, you know, you can use different things, but burpee organic um, vegetable um, feed is, it has a lot of stuff. And I also use Miracle Grow Performance Organics. That helps to fortify the soil and replace whatever was taken out, you know, by the other plants from last year. So I generally reuse soil. But of course, you know, you always have to fortify. This is, um, you know, you can see it's gray granules. So I just mix up everything, you know, all the, um, the stuff and I put them in the containers before I put the plants in because the plants, the peppers, the scotch bunny pepper need and most peppers need um you know fertilizer so there i am now ready to put them in and i've been putting some in you can see the pots around me yeah i've been putting them in so i i put i did about um eight or ten i think i have about 15 pots of this year i'm not growing a lot in some years i have 80 but this year i'm not growing a lot so you can see i fill up all the pots between the buckets grow bags and everything and this is like the next day you know i water them and they're, they're looking good they're looking good so that's how i am um, yeah that's what's going on there of course there's other things planted out there i did some potatoes and and some flowers and some other stuff but that's basically the peppers it's really what i'm showing you so this is the stage of some of the peppers. These peppers were planted, were sown, the seeds were sown in January. And now they're bearing. I even see young pepper under, under here. There's a couple of young peppers down here. Can I zoom down? Let me see if I can zoom down to show you. Here, yeah, a couple, couple of young peppers under here. See? Those are scotch bonnets. See how they look flat? That's how real scotch bonnet look. But anyway, there's other videos I did. And I'll show you um what is this one is blossoming and I'm gonna leave this. But I'm gonna show you some others that have been breaking off the blossom. Why? They're too short, they're too small. I'm not ready, and I'm breaking off the blossom and I'm breaking off any growth at the bottom. See, I'm breaking off any growth at the bottom because I it's taking away from the plant growing. I don't want anything growing down here. I take off the bottom leaves. I take off some of the bottom leaves and and then you see see this one all happens is that dirt fly up on it before you know it you get disease so i pick off all these bottom leaves and any new growth and you know you can plant this you can stick it right back in the pot and it will grow possibly grow you know if it's if it's um not if the sun is not too hot on it but anyway this is blossoming and there's some others over there that's blossoming but um but this one right here, I'm gonna pick off some of the blossoms. It's too short. It's not big enough. And I'm gonna pick off these leaves. I'm really not been attending to these. Too much growth at the bottom and, um, and the plant is not growing big enough. Now, I know it's very hard to pick off blossoms when you see, when you're dying to see blossom and you, you see blossom come up. I know it's hard to pick off blossoms. But what is the best thing for the plant, you know? So, so I have a friend and, and she got some pepper from me and, and she's so happy that she have peppers on, on the tree, blossom and peppers. 
but I, I don't know if the plant is big enough. I'm not there to see it. But I'm picking off all these bottom feed, these bottom limb, these little growth down here. See, this one have quite a few growth also. a few growth so I'm picking them off and, and if you want you can always start this as another pepper in another pot or you can stick it right down into the pot and sometimes they grow sometimes they don't depends on how much sun is on them so I'm getting rid of these getting rid of all these bottom leaves here show you this plant here you know some people say they, they top the plant they top the peppers I don't top peppers but um, something had happened to the top of this it broke off when it was in the cup and I and so now look how the limb it has so much limb a whole lot of limb but no blossoms yet so I don't know I'm gonna watch it I never generally pick top any peppers as I mentioned before in other videos from other years but I'm going to watch it. It has a lot of limb. I actually broke off some of them because I think it had too many. And I might break. I don't know. All right. So, I don't know. I, I'm not going to break that. But so, see, there's more peppers over there. More peppers. I don't know. Something. Uh, my peppers don't look as good as they used to. But I'm going to feed them. Another thing you can do is feed them. I feed them. A little miracle grow and then they're looking puny you know my father used to use the word puny my father was a farmer if you never heard any of my other videos my father was a farmer that's what he take a mind with from willico so i was lazy and didn't finish the video and this is the next week so you can see the peppers are much bigger now see they're growing this tree here they will soon ripe up so some of the trees have sizes like this and some have, you know, young peppers, very young peppers coming out. And um, so this is the stage of them this week. Yeah, I did this just, I just did this yesterday. So, and I'm going to upload this video today. So that's the, the size of the peppers, peppers. You know, last year I had peppers in June this time. But if you look back at last year's videos, I had peppers in June. But somehow I... The, at that time, last year I planted them in December. I sowed the seeds in December. This year I sowed the seeds in January. And so, you know, now I'm just getting pepper. So, I'll have ripe pepper. I'll come back when I have ripe pepper on the tree. <laughs> I'll come back and show you the updates. But that's the stage of the pepper from beginning to now, you know. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate your views, your comments, and um, any questions you have please post them below and and i thank you for watching my videos i'll just say this is claire from claire's culinary adventures see you soon in the next video